flavor. Yay! It's woke new whiskey, aka Morpheus. Check me out, man. Check me out. See, the thing is with people. I learned this. I learned this from God's child. There's people out here saying God, using the term God. But the question is, what God? Have you heard anybody say Yahweh, Elohim? There's other names, but when these YouTubers say God or they don't believe in God, they never say Yahweh. You know why? Because Yahweh is so powerful. So what does that tell you? That they know, but they don't want to go against the real God. So they proclaim to go against God. And who is that? That they think this God is? The devil. He isn't a God. Well, I don't, I, I'm going to tell you like this. He isn't a God. If God threw him out of heaven, then this dude ain't no God. I'll tell you what the devil is. The devil is the ruler of all evil and pain and suffering. So when I listen to these YouTubers, his name is like Miss, Mr. Polite. I don't, I don't know his name. Because you know how YouTube is. They got a problem with certain things. But just look at this video and I'm going to shut down what this dude says because I'm tired of it. So yeah, pay attention, man, because... It's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> it's Woke New Whiskey, aka Morpheus. Here we go. I'm about to play the video right now. Get ready. Yeah, man, but I'm gonna let y'all know right now that this video right here, I know how y'all like entertainment. So I'm gonna try my best to entertain y'all, but I gotta stay righteous at the same time and I can't lead the people astray. So, comment session, comment, do what you need to do, sub. Share the video. I got 200 subs now. Shout out to all my subs. And yeah, man, woke new whiskey. Let's get the video started. But <clears throat> I personally feel that our people. Let me let me get back. Let me get back. Let me move this damn thing forward. Cause I'm feel I'm in my feelings right now, and I'm gonna tell you why. I okay. personally feel like he drinking. He drinking. People worship the damn devil. Okay. Now, I may not believe, and I'm going to tell y'all why I don't believe in God. I'm going to tell you why. I know they're going to do this. He did this, so you know what that means when he said that, right? Because people spooky as hell. But I'm going to tell you this. Okay, before this dude even speak, all y'all that believe in the one, our only creator, Yahweh, how are you going to believe somebody that's blue pill? This is all public. You can go do your research. Look at his eye. That is the eye of Horus. I, I don't believe in that. Y'all gonna unfollow, knock yourself out. People made me believe in the devil and not God. I believe in the devil. I'm gonna okay. say that. I definitely <laughs> believe in it. <laughs> oh, man. See, I'm laughing because I'm goofy. So this man right here says that people made him believe in the devil. What does that tell you guys? When you in this world, and I was just talking to my bro the other day, and I was talking about this, how easy it is for somebody to believe in the devil, but not Yahweh. And here we go. Now here goes the proof. Why does he do it? We don't know. Just like all the other blue pillars. <laughs> Let's get it started. Damn devil. And not only do I believe in the devil, I believe God is the devil. And I'm going to tell you why. I just want you to really walk with me. Oh, okay. Kobe Bryant is in the helicopter. Right. The helicopter crash. You know what they say? They say, hey, um, God knew Kobe and his daughter has such a close relationship. He wanted them to die together. He wanted them to die together. Never mind the what? fact that he got other children. How the hell are we gonna tell the other children? Yo, God knew that he was here. Wait, how? Dude, that Eye of Horror stuff is wicked, man. Y'all gotta wake up. 
The dude didn't even say nothing, but the dude on the left said it for him. What? How wicked is that? How, how did... Wait, 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 wait. How is y'all blaming what happened to Kobe Bryant on Yahweh? All people can tell me is, hey, that's dick, like, that's dick, like, I would have loved to throw everybody in, but all people mm. can tell me is, you should have threw daylight on here, man. This was God's special plan. <clears throat> this is God's special plan. I feel a way about that. And now, if that's God's special plan, if God is taking out babies and taking out the fathers, if God is getting us raped and castrated to prove some kind of lesson, but I'm going to tell you this. The reason why God is doing that, and y'all can get mad if you want, because I'm just feeling the weight. It's because Jesus was a sucker. <laughs> He's, I know you're mad. Wow. He just said, Jesus... I was laughing because the dude on the left was stretching his neck and he was acting all like he was tired of hearing it. But then the dude just now said, Jesus is a sucker. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to rewind it. The reason why God is doing that, y'all can get mad if you want. Because I'm just feeling the weight. It's because Jesus was a sucker. I know you're mad. Ooh. Jesus was a was a buster. He was <laughs> wow. Jesus I'm done. was a sucker. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why he's a sucker. All right. See, that's how you know I'm red pill. Because watch how I say this right now. So, Mr. Polite, or whatever your name is, got no problem with you. You calling Jesus the Messiah a sucker? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, someone that died for our sins, for you to be here in the spirit, and you call him a sucker? So if you die for your brother right now, then basically you saying you a sucker, right? You a sucker. So you calling everybody that died for their family and for their brothers, they're suckers. That's what you just said. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play some more of this video, man. <laughs> is y'all feeling me or what comment session, man? Let me know, man. This is crazy. I'm going to tell you why. Because I know y'all feel away. Get mad if you want to get in your feelings. He's a sucker. I am in my feelings. Because Jesus was a sucker. Every time we have someone like Malcolm X or Martin Luther King or real and real powerful, brilliant black men that get murdered, we think of them as, oh, well, God had a special plan for them to get assassinated. You know why? Because Jesus is supposed to be so great that if they could feed him, whip his ass and make him carry his own cross, beat shit out of him and hang him, then you know what we do? Whenever we see great people get murdered unfairly, we connect them with Jesus, and that's what we do. We start making up excuses instead of just saying, yo, people are freaking wicked on planet Earth. So what I'm saying is, I hope y'all hear me clearly. I'm listening. Y'all version of God sound like the damn devil. Yo, God he is the, the devil. Earth, right? And then they turn around. He coming with fire and brimstone. I'm like, does this nigga ever stop killing people? Yo, when the coronavirus came out, you know what our brothers did? The Hebrew Israelites? They start reading out the, the Bible. Yo, this is one of the plagues God was talking about when the World Trade Center fell down. You know what they said? They read out the Bible. You know, God did it. How come when the cure comes out, no one says God is responsible for the cure? How come when it's good news, no one turn around and celebrate God? I'm going to tell you why right now. Because God, Yahweh, didn't create this disease. Somebody... Went in a lab and created the disease, the V, the ooh, ah, the dot, blah, blah. You feel me? So you blaming that on God? So you want God? Oh, my goodness, man. Did you, are you hearing what this dude's saying right now? How come every time there's pestilence and destitution and slavery and buildings dropping, terrorism and, and viruses, how come every time something negative takes place all over the world, we accredit it to God, but then when positive things happen, we never say it's God. When Kobe Bryant died, they say it's God's plan. When MC Hustle died, they say it's God's plan. When black people go to slavery, they say it's God's plan. When the coronavirus comes, they say it's God's plague. When the trace in the fall down... No, 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 no. See, it's hard to laugh on this video because this is a serious conversation. So, yeah, man. Everything... We're all born sinners. Everything that's happening right now in this physical... It's not God's fault. It's not Yahweh's fault. It's Satan's fault. They say it's God. 
Well, then your God is the goddamn devil. And I don't want to fuck with him. He don't fuck with black people. He don't Not like mine. black people. It's very clear. He's costly on our body. I ain't rocking with him. That's how I'm feeling about the situation. Any words, Kate? That ain't my God. I can tell you that. Black people, y'all got to wake the freak up. They sold you a weirdo God. They sold you on a God to make your ass passive so they can enslave you and oppress you every damn day of the week. That's what they sold you. They sold you some weak, weirdo God that always gets his ass bust. You know why? Because if your God can get his ass bust and send his only child... See, man, this is what I don't like right here. The dude on the left, I mean, I respect you, but... Man, when your kid or whoever that is come downstairs like that, you got to you got to tell Mr. Polite to hold on because Mr. Polite's talking. You don't want your kid to learn this. You don't want your kid to hear this type of stuff cuz this is crazy. You don't want to hear this negativity. I'm trying to wake you up. All right, man, King Lowe's, man. All right. Go down here to get his ass bust, then you're going to be willing to get your ass bust, but you you want to believe getting your ass bust is spiritual. You don't want to get your ass kicked just because your Messiah got his ass kicked. That's how y'all going to take it on. Yo, this is the reason why white people feel like God is white. This is why. <laughs> that God does everything that white people do to us. Everything. I mean, he and, and that and, and that's some real shit. What? And and wait, <laughs> I, I called you yesterday. You called me today. Right. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, he said because the reason people think God is white because of what God, what, what, how people, how the uh, white, basically saying how the white man is treating us today, so we think God is white. <laughs> This is where we meet. We meet on IG Live. So, <laughs> Real talk. So, <laughs> how you feel Look. right now? Look, you got that on your eye. I know how you feel. See? So, I was feeling like that yesterday. So, here's my question. Talk about it, man. Talk about it. Here's my question. Man, okay. You can't. <laughs> so, you, you see how. Was somebody always trying to speak against Yahweh? Look, he couldn't even get his words out. Look, he's trying to get it together. His mind is going crazy because he's blue pilled. He don't know what to say, so he has to think and think and think. And what is he thinking? He's thinking what Satan want him to think. So let's see who controls him. Let's hear what he got to say. White people were um, fighting the police. Oh, right. someone said this is a wicked conversation. Let me just do this real quick. You know what's wicked? What's wicked is having questions in your mind and being too afraid to ask it because you're trying to sneak your way into heaven. That ain't even just be believing just in case. You know what I mean by that? They be believing just in case. Like, you know what? This shit sounds stupid, but I, just in case what? there's a heaven, I'm going to just believe so I can get in there. Y'all niggas trying to hustle your way in heaven. Wait, wait, wait. If wait. God's out there, he knows what's in your heart. You ain't going to fool fucking yeah. God. <laughs> if you got questions, if I... All right, man, this video is way too long. He just said that people are just believing that it's a God so they can go to heaven. That, what? That's not going to get you to heaven. Because let's just say a person believing God, he's like, ooh, there's a God. There's still levels. There's still stuff you have to do to get there. Just physical stuff, spiritual stuff, mental stuff. Build yourself up. Now, comment session, man. Y'all need to sub, like, do what you need to do. But if you're serious about the spiritual stuff, like me, because I got, I got other stuff to do. So hopefully y'all appreciate me, man. You feel me? It's Morpheus, and I'm gone.